All right, guys, as the very fitting title of this video is why I like sloppy knives. Now, what do I mean by this? So we largely saw this with knives that were made in kind of the earlier EDC tradition um, or, you know, back in the early 2000s, mid 2010s in knives like Striders, Emerson's, and even sometimes Benchmates where the entire idea was that the knives may have a little bit of lock stick, they may be made a little bit cruder, they may have softer heat treats, but the entire intent and design of these knives, especially when they came out, especially things like this, you know, Emerson, Minicom, and even the Commanders as a whole, were designed to be very hard working, hard use blades designed for albeit semi-tactical to tactical um, environments and situations. And so in these types of situations with those types of people in mind, you know, tactical kind of situations and potential operators in mind, these knives were designed for a one purpose in mind, and that is to be as tough and as durable, resilient, and overall, um, as hard use as they could be, you know, to use these knives truly and truthfully very hard and to be, like I said, very tough, very resilient. That's why you see a lot of, especially your striders at lower heat treats or lower tempers and with a little bit of, you know, blade stick, a little bit of, you know, rough around the edges. They were designed to be knives that were going to be used very hard. So getting them all scratched up, getting them, you know, beaten up was the expected tradition. That's what you were designed or supposed to be, um, using them in war that's that was their design or purpose in mind i should say not tripping over my words here but truthfully you know a lot of people nowadays look at older emerson's with the scope of like oh these knives you know are you know so crudely made they have lock stick to them they're just so rough around the edges but at the time when they were being made they were made for people who were either in trades or in military law enforcement applications where those individuals using them did not care these knives were not going to be baby they were not safe queen they were not going to, you know, see just cutting paper boxes open. These were knives that potentially, like Ernie, you know, designed with the original intent for this V-grind, um, you know, chisel to be made, you know, so that you could sharpen these on the, you know, concrete side of a street in Mogadishu or something. You know, that's what these were originally designed for. So if that's your application, if that's your intent, that's the environment that you want these knives to go into, well, they need to have softer heat treats so that they don't crack out and chip. They need to have, you know, so they are made cruder because you're going to treat them like a tool, like a piece of working item. I mean, that's why people or troops like M4s and stuff, if you ever looked at them, especially in that time frame, the finishes are all worn to hell. They're not the trucks. trucks. <laughs> The guns were literally just thrown around, kicked around, and that's partly because they were tools treated like hammers or uh, any other piece of kit that you would use or expect to have. Um, and so they were just treated as another one of those items. And knives were none the different. Now, of course, knife culture has kind of changed and tends to, you know, fancy or value quality, you know, blade centering and smooth actions, you know, not no like lock stick and stuff like that. And they tend to value that stuff over, you know, the tried and true what actually works in a hard use situation. So it kind of creates, you know, a backlash from community, especially with the older Emersons and older Striders that, you know, they look at these knives and they're like, oh, they're just poorly made and people were trying to take advantage of the knife community back then. And truthfully, there's probably more uh, knife companies trying to take advantage of consumers nowadays than back then. But truthfully, these knives were actually made with those specific intents in mind. These were designed to be sloppy on purpose. You know, if there was a little bit of side to side play, which is actually not in this strider, but if there is, you know, like side to side play with these guys here, like there definitely is, um, you know, that, that was expected. That was to be expected, totally okay. And ultimately at the end of the day, I think something that's really important to note is a lot of people talk about how sloppy, especially these older Emersons were, um, but few people talk about the fact that they actually really still work. These are knives that you can absolutely rail on, treat like trash, and they still completely work. And so once again, there's, you know, a little bit of side to side play. There's no up and down play really on them, but, um, you 
you know, these knives are rough around the edges and certainly crude, especially under these scales. Um, these older Emersons for sure are definitely crude, but you know, they, they were designed that way because the people who were using them were using them and they didn't really care about how nice they looked or how well they were finished. And you know, they didn't care about how beautiful the flamed titanium was. They just wanted a knife that could cut stuff and potentially people if they needed it. So even though there is a little bit of lock stick on some of these guys, um, they're still very, very crude knives that still are highly functional. And once again, people are fast to say, oh, they're not quality built knives, but do you ever see these knives fail? Do you ever truly see them, you know, not work in the applications or situations that they were designed for? The answer is probably not. And so honestly, with these knives, like I said, a lot of people talk smack against them, but they're really quality made. And some of these loose sloppy knives just so happen to be some of the best uh, implements for hard and rugged use that you can get. Because I'm here to tell you, looking at something like, let's just say this Benchmade Auto Adamus, you know, sure, it has a fast firing action, it has good blade centering on it, and the lockup may appear to be pretty good overall, but honestly, this is a knife that you cannot baton with in its locked state and expect it to not unlock. So this is a knife that like the quality isn't necessarily there. Whereas these guys, you can definitely beat the crap out of them and they're still gonna come back for more. So, you know, say what you will about the sloppy build quality on these knives. They're actually still pretty durable, pretty tanky, and that's ultimately why I like having Striders and Emersons and even some of these older Benchmades in my collection is because they were built with a different mindset in original intention and in mind. So anyways, guys, that is why I like sloppy knives and why you should too. <laughs> As always, God bless and I'm out.